Let's start off with a really simple instructional strategy. It's called Write, Pair, Share. It's helpful to enable all of your students to participate in the class and to clarify their ideas. The first step, you ask your students to write about something, a question that you've posed, a video that they've watched from the tablet. The step after that, pair. Have them work with a partner to discuss their ideas, to present what they've written about. And the final step, share. In that step, you bring the whole class together and have them talk together about the question, the video, or the text. And I'm just going to start with, there's lots of different ways to read. Okay. There's lots of different ways to read from the tablet. Some pages are really long, with lots of text. Some pages are really short, with just a paragraph or two. How do you know what to do, and how do you keep your students engaged? Well, you can do silent reading. When you do silent reading, you want to make sure that the vocabulary is not too challenging, and that the text is not too long. Another option is to do a teacher read aloud. If the vocabulary is challenging, or if the text is somehow long, if you read, you'll make sure to keep your students' attention. A third option is to have your students come and read together. You can do it in partners or in small groups. If you go this route, I recommend that you ask the students a specific question. This will enable them to be focused during the reading. And the last option is called popcorn reading. Now think about popcorn. It pops around. You do the same thing with your students. If you have a very long text and you want the students to read it aloud in a class, I recommend that you start with one student, have them read a couple of sentences, and then you pop to the next student. Don't tell them when you're going to call on them, but instead pop around randomly. That will ensure your students pay attention. Any time you give them a reading, whether it's silent read, teacher read, partner or small group read, or popcorn reading, consider giving them a couple of focusing or guiding questions. This will help to ensure that your students are paying attention and learning what you want them to learn. Clap management. <laughs> Managing a class when all of your students have their own tablets can be a really big challenge. Today we're going to talk about two very simple classroom management strategies to help keep your students paying attention to you, the instructor. The first one is called the clapping method. If all of your students are working in partners or if they're looking at their tablets on their own and you want their attention without yelling, you can do a very simple double clap and then ask your students to repeat your clap and turn their tablets to the sky. This way you can ensure that you have their attention. Another method is to simply have your students turn their tablets over when you want to switch to the blackboard or use a textbook. I call it yellow to the sky because the sleeves on the back of their tablet are yellow. Very simply, ask them to turn it over and shift to other resources as you require. Okay. There's lots of videos on the tablet. The, the videos help to support student interest and motivation to learn. They're fun to watch, but how can you make the most of them? Oftentimes, the tablet doesn't include any questions before the video. We recommend that you create your own questions, depending on what you want your students to learn. Show the students the questions before they watch the video to help focus their attention. Also, be aware there's always a transcript. You'll see the button right below the video and to the right. Read the transcript so that you can see what the video is about. You can also allow your students to reference it when asking questions. Remember, we're all a part of a learning community, and we're all learning together how to use these tablets and how to use them well. Be patient with yourself and be patient with your students. Know that you are one of the first generations of teachers who get to bring these technologies into the classroom. I hope you feel proud. <laughs>